Hello, welcome to another semester and this first episode of what I'm entitling Healthy Hearing, which are gonna be videos aimed to educate and empower students as so we can further empower individuals with hearing loss and communication disorders. I'm your host, Professor Frazier, and today we have a fascinating topic to delve into. We'll be discussing oral rehabilitation and its significant impact on the lives of those with hearing impairments. So sit back, relax, and let's delve into oral rehabilitation. To begin, let's establish a clear understanding of what oral rehab or AR is. Oral rehabilitation is a comprehensive and collaborative approach to address communication challenges faced by individuals with hearing loss. It involves a range of interventions and techniques and strategies and their aim is to improve or ameliorate the overall listening and communication abilities of individuals with hearing loss. Research has shown that people with hearing loss often experience difficulties in various environments, such as social gatherings, work settings, or even doing simple everyday conversations. And this can lead to feelings of isolation, feelings of frustration, and an impact on their overall, overall quality of life. So now that we understand the importance of oral rehabilitation, let's explore the primary goals of AR. The overarching objective of oral rehabilitation is to enhance an individual's ability to effectively communicate while utilizing their residual hearing and any assistive devices that, that they may have or may, they may need. And this includes hearing aids, cochlear implants, or assistant listening devices. And the additional goals of oral rehab are fivefold, to improve speech recognition and comprehension, to help develop auditory skills, to help minimize communication breakdowns and errors, to enhance listening strategies and coping mechanisms, and finally to promote psych uh, promoting psychological and emotional well-being. Oral rehab encompasses several components and each play a vital role in the rehabilitation process. So let's delve into some of the key components. First, the audiological evaluation. Every oral rehab journey begins with an assessment of the hearing, a person's hearing abilities. This evaluation helps determine the level of hearing loss and identifies any specific areas of concern um, that we may need to pay particular attention to, closer attention to. Secondly, the hearing technology. After the evaluation, the appropriate hearing devices, such as hearing aids, cochlear implants, may be recommended. And these devices may help amplify and improve an individual's ability to hear and understand speech. Third, speech and language therapy. Many individuals with hearing loss require speech and language therapy to improve their communication abilities. And this therapy may focus on speech production, language development, or both. And then auditory treatment. Auditory training exercises are designed to help individuals with hearing loss recognize and interpret different sounds. And these exercises can enhance their listening skills, making it easier for them to understand speech and discriminate between various environmental sounds. So what are the roles and professionals within oral rehabilitation? AR is a collaborative approach as previously stated, and this effort involves various professionals, audiologists and hearing instrument specialists. Um, audiologists and hearing instrument specialists plays a critical role in the diagnosis and treatment of hearing loss. They conduct through various evaluations, recommended appropriate recommend appropriate hearing aid devices and monitor their progress of the individuals throughout the rehabilitation process. Speech language pathologists, like many of you, speech language pathologists work closely with individuals to address speech language and swallowing difficulties that may be caused by the hearing loss. They provide therapy sessions to improve overall communication skills, as also previously stated. And then psychologists and counselors, the emotional impact of hearing loss can be significant. And psychologists and or counselors assist individuals in coping with their emotional challenges that are often related to hearing loss, which enables them to live more fulfilled lives. 
So now that we've covered the essential aspects of oral rehabilitation, let's discuss the importance one more time. Oral rehabilitation helps individuals with their hearing loss regain confidence, reconnect to their loved ones, and help them engage more actively in various aspects of their lives. Studies have shown that individuals who receive oral rehabilitation and experience improved speech recognition, overall communication abilities, and improved quality of life and cognition. They also report higher satisfaction levels and greater participation, making oral rehabilitation an essential component in their overall hearing aid journey. So that brings us to the end of today's episode of Introduction to Oral Rehabilitation. I hope that you have found this information helpful and valuable to gain more insight of the significance of AR and improving the lives of those with hearing impairments and its connection to speech language pathology. So remember, if you know someone experiencing hearing loss, seek assistance of a qualified professional of the many that we just talked about to help guide them through their oral rehabilitation process. So stay tuned throughout the rest of the semester and we'll delve more deeply into the various aspects of oral rehabilitation. Have a great semester. Goodbye.